crap. Doesn't matter. I'll use this one. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and today we are going to finally draw Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat X. You guys, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are two of my favorite Mortal Kombat characters of all time. Just like Scorpion, Sub-Zero of course has had many costumes over the past years and every single iteration of Sub-Zero has just gotten more and more complex. In the game, there's a huge difference between Scorpion and Sub-Zero's costumes. Scorpion's looks more like a hood with a mask that is underneath it, whereas Sub-Zero has more of a mask that covers his head cover and while Scorpion has this rough, gritty, almost burlap uh, costume, Sub-Zero's looks more like a winter costume, which is fitting for him because he is, of course, a master of, you know, frozen stuff. Anyway, let's get to the tutorial. As always, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of paper, and black pens with different size nibs to ink afterwards. Remember that as you're watching this tutorial, you can pause at any time so you can catch up on your Sub-Zero drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, remember that if your drawings look different than mine, that is completely acceptable as well. Having said all of that, you guys, let's go straight to the tutorial. All right, you guys, to get started with Sub-Zero, we are going to be drawing a circle uh, over here. As you guys can see, I've got my paper in landscape mode, and we're gonna be drawing Sub-Zero with his shoulder, uh, his left shoulder is going to be over here, and his other shoulder is gonna be pushed back, so he'll be sort of on his side. So let's get started, and we're, like I said, we're gonna draw a circle right around here. It's gonna be closer, a little bit closer to the uh, left side of your page. Now Sub-Zero is going to somewhat be looking down as well. So we want to reflect that in our drawing. So his head is going to be tilted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a center line and the center line is going to be at a slight angle this way. Okay, and I'm going to find the draw line. From here, I'm going to draw a line going down and same thing on the other side. And I'm just going to slowly make a turn right here and slowly make a chin. So you guys can see it's got a pretty prominent jaw. But that jaw is kind of, well it's padding because he's actually wearing a mask. So yeah, we kind of want to make that jaw a little bit thicker. Okay, so there's that. Uh, you know what, before we start with other things, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just lay out the rest of the body. So from here, I'm just going to draw a little neckline right there. And then from here, I'm going to draw the neck going diagonal like this. And about this far down from this, the jaw here, I'm going to draw a line that curves down. This is going to be his costume, whereas I don't know if we'd call it a gi, but it's his ninja, blue ninja costume. So that goes there. And I'm actually going to draw two lines now right here. So I just double that line. And then from here, I'll make the shoulder very small, just very small like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to round it, put that big. That's a good size right there. And then draw another curve that follows this, this same curve right here. And I'm going to bring this to there. Okay, now we're going to go over here and I'm going to draw a line from the jaw to this line right here, extend it out a little bit, and then from where the uh, the jaw meets the neckline right here, I'm going to draw a line going out, it goes above this mark right here, and then I'm going to bring it down diagonally like this. So it kind of looks a little awkward, it looks like his neck is like a giraffe, but what this is is actually part of his collar. So let's draw the rest of this. So we're going to extend this going down his jaw right here. And we're going to bring it to here. So it does that. Now let's bring this like this. So there he goes. You guys can see his neck is sort of, this is his neck area. And then this is just um, padding for his uh, costume. I'm going to make, I'm going to draw another line right here that follows this curve. It's going to be thicker than this line. Okay. Since it's padded, I'm going to give a little bit of a like a cushion look right here, a padding look, bring it down to there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
extend it this way. Now you notice that this line is above this line, so it's slightly higher up. Make sure you have that. It goes this far. And then now I'm going to measure a distance about this far from here. And then I'm going to start making this, it's almost the exact same curve, but what this does is it goes this way. So it goes like that. I'm going to draw it again. But this time around it gets thinner as you go up to the top. So it's wider here, and as you can see it gets a little bit thinner going this way. And then what I'm going to do now is we're going to draw another one from here going across like this, and then goes across like that. So it goes up diagonally and then it goes across. And then I'm going to go inside it and I'm going to do that same thing. Now this is where his arm is going to go, his shoulder. So let's find his shoulder. Right around here, I'm just going to draw his shoulder going like this. And then this now, this sort of stops right here, but this one sort of extends a little further, goes out this way, and then it goes to his shoulder, and then it goes behind the shoulder like this. And then now the same thing, I'm going to find this little spot right here, I'll work my way up until I meet this right here. Let me try that again. Just like that. And then this one now, it gets thin, and then it and then it stays the same width, going all the way down to here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a itch in my throat today, well, the past couple days. So we've got, we pretty much got his costume uh, the way that we want it. Let's go back to the face and let's start filling in the details on Sub-Zero's mask. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly erase this, but not too much. I'm going to find a spot right here. This is going to be where his eyes are going to go. So it's about, it's actually quite halfway from here to here to here. It's halfway. So to find the halfway mark, make sure you are perpendicular 90 degrees to this line right here. This is going to be the eye line. It goes straight. And then once you reach the sides, I want you to just round off to the sides like that. Okay. Just below that and just above it, I'm going to make those marks. The bottom mark is going to be for his mask. And I'm going to find right here where you can kind of see still where, where my, um, the bottom of that circle is you kind of want to follow that circle. So here's that circle, the bottom of that circle right here. Okay. Let me, let me darken it a little bit more. Okay. So here's the bottom of that circle that we did the first, like the first thing that we did. Um, I'm essentially going to create this little, uh, curve at the bottom of that circle. Do you see what I mean? So here's that circle, but instead of closing it off right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up and then bring it down again. So that follows the curve of Sub-Zero's mask. Let me erase the bottom of the circle now. And let's focus on his mask, the, uh, the mouth guard. Now let's uh, draw a line right here that follows that same curve on the nose. Okay, and then I'll make a mark right here and right here. Now they're going to be mirror image to each other. You want to make sure that this side and this side are reflecting. So you want to try to make it similar. Okay, we're going to draw this line now, and this line is going to be bigger than this line. So like the width here is pretty thin. We're going to make this a little bit thicker. And it goes like this. So extend this line a little bit further out. And then just follow that curve. We're going to leave it like that for a bit. Let's continue with the middle part. So now I'm going to draw another curve right here. This time it's just going to be a half circle. And then I'm going to draw another one just below it like this. Okay. I'm going to bring this to that line like that. And then now this line sort of extends like this and it actually starts making its way down to the chin. So it sort of makes that, it looks like a, well, I can't think of it. It makes kind of like a perfume bottle right there. 
So I'm continually reshaping it to make sure that both sides are similar. So you guys want to keep that in mind, make sure that they're the same. And if you guys have to make some adjustments, feel free to do that because that's what drawing is all about is making adjustments. Not every line is perfect. That's why I like to use a pencil. Okay. Now from here, I'm going to draw a line going this way and then it goes up. It meets this line right here. Same thing over here. Line goes out, meets that line right there. But we're not finished. So we're going to go back over here. I'm going to draw a line. Well, you know what? Let's find this first. Find a mark right there. And I'm going to draw two more marks beneath it. So that's three lines right there. The bottom one is going to be this shape right here. So it looks like, imagine drawing a carrot. And this is going to be like the top of the carrot and the carrot sort of extends like this. But it sort of makes that shape where it's rounded at the top, it's wider over here, and then it gets narrower down here. And we'll do the same thing with the middle line. We're going to go this way and then this way. But what's going to happen with it is it goes halfway down. And then it actually goes slightly out like this, and then it goes back down again. And then the top now is just going to go about this far. So it rounds and it ends off right here. Okay. From here, I'm going to connect it to that line. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. Over here, inside this little carrot shape that we did, there's a triangle down here. So I'm going to draw a triangle. And then I'm going to draw a diamond up here at the top. And then the diamond and the triangle connect in a line like this. Let me make that a little easier to see. So the diamond and the triangle connect. And then along each side, there's going to be two circles right here, and then two circles on the same side like that. Okay, now we're going to go back over here. I'm going to draw an oval right there. And then I'm going to draw two more ovals, one over here. And the side of the oval kind of runs along this side. And same thing over here. And then now here, I'm going to draw a line to the edge or where this line ends. Where this curve ends right here, I'm going to find this mark and then I'm going to draw a line going out like that. Okay, now let's uh, finish off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an inverted triangle or an upside down triangle right there. And same thing over here. With a line from here, it goes down to the bottom of the mask like that. And like this. All right, now let's kind of reshape the bottom of the mask here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line beneath that triangle. So the little carrot shape sort of ends at that line as well. Now this line now these two lines right here sort of are a little bit below that. This line and this line go a little bit below that. And then this line sort of ends off right there, here and here. And we are almost done. So let me close that off again. So we've got the bottom. Now from here, I'm going to draw, find a line right here and go up and same thing here. It goes up like this. And then this line sort of runs along the bottom here, goes to the side like this, goes to the side, and then it makes its way back down like this and like this. Okay. Close that off, close this off. Now I'm going to draw a line sort of running just beneath that, that shape that we just did. So just a little bit underneath it. Almost done, you guys. From here, I'm going to draw a line going up towards the mask, this line right here. So I'm going to bring, my, bring it up like this. And same thing over here. From here, I'm going to bring my line up. 
Okay, now over here, I'm gonna bring it this way. Same thing over here, this line right here, I bring it towards the eyes. And then I draw another line going out like that. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a line to the side of the face like that. And this is just going to be patches. It's going to be difficult to draw. So what we're going to do is we're just going to extend a line from here going up. From here, we're going to make our way up like this. And then we're going to draw just like the ear part like this. So another line out, end it off right there, and end it off right there. So at this point, take a look back to see if you have made the right proportions. Make sure that you've got this side mirroring this side as best as you can. Feel free to pause this video if you guys need to, you know, make some edits. All right, we're almost done. Underneath this line right here, I'm going to draw another line like this. Same thing over here. And then I'm going to bring it to that, this little ridge right here. And then I'm going to draw a line going down there, a line going down over here. And that's it. Let's uh, embellish some parts right here. This is going to be I'm just going to draw a line right here, not touching any other lines. So from here to there. And then I'm going to draw a line from here to there, here to there. These are curves, I guess you could say. They're um, uh, they're they're part of the mask where it's not a sharp sharp uh, edge. It's curvy edge, but you still kind of want to delineate it. All right, so let's fix it up now. One more thing right here. One line there. One line here. The thing with the Mortal Kombat S X is that all these costumes get more and more detailed. Uh, if you compare it to, especially if you compare it to the first Mortal Kombat game. So we've got that, <laughs> we've got this, which is the mask, just the mask. I mean, it's just the, um, what do you call it? The, the part that covers the mouth. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here. You guys notice that I erased slightly this line right here. Um, don't erase it too much because we're gonna be drawing his eyes. But we also did a line right here. Now we're gonna draw the top of the mask. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna find our way like this. So it's gonna be like a curve. Just like that. Now you see this edge right here. I'm gonna draw a line going up and then I'm going to draw a curve that meets this this top curve that we did right there. I'm gonna find this mark part of the mask, draw a line going up and then curve it. There you go. So now we've got the eye part for Sub-Zero's eyes. I'm gonna find a spot right here, another one right here. And I'm gonna draw a line from here, it gets wider and here. I'm gonna draw a line going up like this on this side and up like this on this side. You guys notice that I've kind of curved it slightly because his head is obviously not flat. So you kind of want to give it that curve. It gives that illusion of a 3D shape. Okay, now I'm gonna do it again. This time, moving slightly to the right and slightly to the left here. Just like that. And just like that. Now the last thing, at this point right here, and this point, I'm gonna make my way out to the side, top of the head, like this, and one like this. And you wanna make sure that they're the same, right? Just like that. I'm gonna draw these ones slightly smaller than these two. Smaller as in thinner. So there you go. At this point you can kind of see where your head shape is a little bit misshapen. So feel free to fix any of that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to maybe bring it slightly higher. Not, not by much. So it's just a couple of uh, millimeters. All right, I'm gonna find the edges. Of course, where these where these uh, um, straps go above the head here, it's gonna be raised slightly. So we're, let's raise that, raise this, raise this, and then this. Okay, now let's finish off the top of the head here. 
There you go. A little bit of detail now. Let's uh, also raise these parts right here. Some details now. Lines across over here. Another line right there, another line here. And these are kind of like the buckles, I guess you could say. And then here, I'm gonna draw some buckles up here. And here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some faint lines on the inside of the strap. And as I do that, you can kind of see that it's starting to look more like a strap. And with my black pen, I'm going to go over that, but I'm going to use my thinner uh, nib. Let's draw a seam right here. So it sort of follows the eye, the eye holes, and then it goes down right here and here. And that's it. Now let's uh, create some texture. There's a line that sort of goes up right here, and that's just the seam on the top of his mask. And it sort of goes like this. I'm going to erase this middle line now. Not necessary anymore. And then I'm just going to create some lines underneath right here. That's just to give it that some texture right here. There you go. Let's draw Sub-Zero's eyes. But first, let me erase that line in the middle. Hopefully you guys still have this line right here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw bridge of the nose right here and right here. It's just two lines that go in like that. From there, I'm going to draw the eyebrow. But let's, let me draw in that center line first. I'm going to draw an eyebrow that sort of goes up and then slightly down and then up again. So from here, it goes, touches the line, goes above the line slightly in a nice smooth curve and then goes up again like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that thick. So I'm going to thicken that line so that you get this kind of eyebrow right here. Now beneath that eyebrow, a half an oval here and here. Make sure that they're equidistant. They're the same distance from the center so that his eyes are centered. So half an oval sort of goes below that, that eye line. And then the bottom is just going to be just closing off the eyes right there and right there. I'm gonna give it some wrinkles. I'm actually going to extend the edge of that oval, half an oval, closer to the center. And then I'm just going to give some wrinkles here on the side. Crow's feet, I guess you could call it. Don't make it no, don't make it too prominent, otherwise it'll look like eyelashes. So with my, I'm, us, I'm probably gonna use a black pen to go over that later on. And then another wrinkle underneath the eye like this. Then another one right here. And that's it. I guess we could draw, we could draw just remnants of a pupil, but we're not gonna complete it because Sub-Zero, when he ices up, you don't really get to see his pupils. You could probably see just the, the center. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a dot in the center, but you don't see the rest of the people in his eyes. So I'm going to leave it like that. So there you go. That's a lot of detail on just Sub-Zero's face alone. Let's uh, draw some wrinkles. Let's continue on now. Let's do the rest of the body. I'm going to draw a wrinkle. From here, I'm going to draw a wrinkle like this. Draw that line. And then I'm going to find a spot right here. And I'm going to draw a little line like this and then change its direction until it meets this little corner right here. Okay, I'm gonna draw another wrinkle from here going down to this point right there. All right, let me darken that. Okay, let's uh, go to this side right here. This, I'm going to draw a little curve like this and then I'm gonna draw a line going across like that. And then from here, now I'm going to continue my way down like this. 
and I'm gonna fill this in with my black marker later on. That's shadow right there. Now let's go over here, fix this up a little bit. I'm gonna draw a line from here to there. Now his gi or his ninja outfit is going to be, it's, it's got that same texture as a, like a winter jacket, I guess, because if you're Sub-Zero, you're dealing with cold temperatures, so it's slightly padded. So, so I'm gonna draw lines going from here to here, and each one of these is gonna be like puffy. So try to give that illusion. I'm gonna draw this seam, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create like a faint line going across like that. Okay, now from here, I'll do the same thing. I go this way, but this time around, I'm going to do a sharp turn going up like this. One more over here. I'm gonna make it go this way, and then a sharp turn going up. And then of course, I'll do that small little detailed marks right there. Over here, I'm gonna draw a seam going around like that. And then I'm just going to finish it off by darkening that line right there. And there you go. I'm gonna draw, okay, I'm gonna draw some rectangles right here, one here. It sort of follows this little, um, these two lines right here. Here's a rectangle that goes over them, and then another one right here, and another one over here, and another one up here. Ideally, you kind of want to space it out so that these four rectangles are the same distance away from each other. So let me adjust this one. There you go. So that's that side. Let's finish off this side now. Let's go over here. From here, I'm gonna draw a curve like this, going down. And then it goes to the top of the shoulder here. Now we're gonna go this way. This goes down, not that far, but that much. And then I'm going to bring it like this. So this is wide, it gets narrow over here, from here to here. Towards the arm, just like that. Now, below the chin, right around here. Line going down, and then make my way towards the arm. Now, this far, line, and then it goes towards the arm again. One more line going like this, and it goes towards the arm. So notice that this little curve right here, it's kind of sharp over here, and then it starts to get, you know, at this point, it becomes like a almost a straight line. Okay, now the usual, we're gonna follow these four things. So from here, I'm gonna draw a squarish thing here instead, instead of a rectangle. From here now, it goes to about here. This one goes here. And then this one sort of goes below his chin here. And then I'm gonna draw one more over here. And one right here, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a line like this and another line like this right here. So it's a curve and then from here, a curve going out like that. Forgot to mention, I'm going to probably shave this, shave, sh shade, not shave, shade this and this in black. And as well as probably this right here and the insides of these triangles like that. Okay, almost done. Let's draw a seam right here. If you guys find that your pencil is starting to get dull, it happens, uh, you can pause the video and sharpen it. Okay, so this seam right here, it sort of ends right around here. Okay, I'm gonna draw a seam in here. Of course, on this side, you don't get to see that. And then let's draw his uh, emblem right here. I believe it's the Lin Kwai emblem. And it's gonna be, the bottom of the circle is gonna be over here. And then the top of the circle is gonna be about here. And let's draw, it's actually gonna be an oval because, well, he's gonna be, I mean, he's got his body sort of tilted at an angle. So we're gonna turn it into an oval like that. Okay, I'm gonna draw a triangle from here, 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 
like that inside that oval. With the edge of the triangles, I'm going to draw circles. Not edge, the corners, I mean the corners of the triangles, I'm going to draw circles or half circles. So that's pretty much the gist of the Lin Kawai logo. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I would probably just darken it with my marker later on. But what you want to do is you want to make all of this thick right here. So you want to draw another line, more lines to thicken this symbol. So it sort of creates this ninja star right here. It's like a circle with three bite marks, you could say. And then over here, the triangle, you want to make that thick as well. So it sort of does that. And that is the logo. I'm going to draw I'm going to give it a little bit of depth by adding like a, like a, um, what do you call it? Some width right there. So there you go. It sort of looks raised. And right here, I'm going to shade this in. I'm going to color that whole thing black. Over here, I'm going to draw one, two, three rivets. And then here, I'm just going to draw the armpit right here. And that's it. I'll probably give this a little bit of texture with my uh, with my pen later on. So I just want to give it that extra texture because you guys enjoyed the texture that I gave on my Scorpion tutorial. You could do the exact same thing with Sub Zero, and that's what I like about the Mortal Kombat X games is that they're very detailed. And same thing with the action figures; it's just got so much detail. So I love them so much. Anyway. That is it, you guys. This has been a very long tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat X. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. I hope your drawings of Sub-Zero turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So go to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for everybody to see. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to do my tutorials or to film my videos, I have links to those in the description box below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff for you guys free of charge. And if you guys have not noticed, I also have a donate button that is now on my channel. If you guys are feeling extra generous, one common comment that I get from my viewers is, am I going to finish my Overwatch tutorials? My answer to that is definitely yes. The only reason why I haven't been doing Overwatch really is because there's just other things that I wanted to draw. But Overwatch is still a highly popular game and eventually I'd like to do more Overwatch characters. I just need to find the right time to do them in. So stay tuned you guys, there's more Overwatch coming up. I really love the character designs of the characters in Overwatch. So yeah, I want to tackle those soon. Anyway, if this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys like what you see, please come on over and hit that subscribe button just below this video. And of course, if you guys did enjoy this Sub-Zero tutorial, it would help out a lot if you guys liked this video, commented below, or share this with your friends in social media. Speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can find a downloadable copy of this Sub-Zero tutorial that you can color at your own will. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video. One common question that I get from the comment section. One comment that I get, one common comment that I get from the section, one common comment that I get from the section, one common common, one common comment, one common comment, one common comment, one common, I can't do it. One common comment that I get 